CapCut just dropped its brand new AI video maker, and not only is it insane, but it is completely free. Creating AI content for faceless YouTube channels, voiceovers, or stock footage is exploding online, and it usually takes three to four different softwares and multiple subscriptions to make it happen. Well, that is not the case anymore. CapCut is now allowing you to create awesome content completely free. So in today's video, we're diving deep into how this AI-powered tool can generate scripts, match stock footage, and voiceovers, music, all with just a few clicks. So whether you're a beginner or a seasoned creator, this tool is about to level up your content game. So first, click the link in the description and download CapCut to your desktop. Like I said, it's completely free and there's no upsells or subscriptions. And once you do that, let's jump right into it. So instead of creating a project at the top, we just go to the top right and we click AI Video Maker. And that's gonna pull up CapCut's new AI Video Maker with tons of templates and different projects and things to use. You can brainstorm with AI, match media to a script. You can create avatar videos like you've probably seen online. You can preview them. Hey, how them. are you today? Are you ready to create with CapCut? But the coolest feature is to just go to new project and start from scratch and go from script to images, to music and elements. So we click new project and right here you can enter a script that you've already made or you can create one with AI. So at the top left, you see we have script, scenes, elements and music. So let's start with a script. We're gonna have CapCut create the script and the voiceover for us. I have this like story, this thought in my head of like, this robot is like walking through like the apocalypse and he's looking for like batteries but the humans don't want robots anymore so he's like kind of covered up by a cloak and maybe like the whole script is like his voiceover like it's kind of going on in his head and that's kind of the story the the idea i have i want to create a short story about a robot who's walking around during the apocalypse he should have a robe covering some of his metal body and is looking for more batteries to keep himself charged that's going to be the key points is all i'm going to give it you could go really in depth with this the duration, you can actually go from one minute up to 10 minutes long, which is really cool. So one minute would be for those like Instagram reels. I'm actually gonna choose three minutes because I wanna actually make this a little bit longer of a video. If you have a writing style that you wanna like extract from or maybe like mimic a certain writing style, you can. And then more requirements, you can have like give it a few more instructions. I know that I want this to be like a voiceover from the robot himself. Like he's commenting on what's happening. So I'm just gonna add that to the requirements. All right, so we got the title, we got the key points, three minutes, and I've got some requirements that says that it's his voiceover. And all we do is click create. And there you have your script. It's been seven years since the bombs fell and I've been walking ever since. I walk until my circuits grow cold and my gears rust. And you've literally got a legitimate story. Now that doesn't mean that you have to just go with what it says. You can start editing the script from here as well. I don't like that it says, hello, I'm a robot. I literally would remove that entirely. And now once you edit it and tweak a few more things, this is a legitimate story about a robot in search for batteries during an apocalyptic time. Now you might be thinking, okay, that's cool. It can write scripts and you can edit it in here. Why is that special? Well, what makes this so special is the next tab from script to scenes. Now you can do avatar voiceovers like we talked about before, but if we go to voice, we can now create a voiceover for this exact script. And all you have to do is click one of these voices and it'll give you a little preview of it. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Now with any sort of AI voiceovers, some of them are gonna be amazing and some of them are going to be garbage. That's just how AI works. But I want this to be like a moody, dark voiceover. I don't want this to be happy. I want this to be cold and dark from the perspective of this robot. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Half Blood Prince. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Hold on, that's incredible actually. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Okay, that's actually pretty incredible. Um, I'm probably gonna go with that one. I think that that one is amazing. So we're gonna click that one and we're gonna go to apply to all scenes. It has been seven years since the bombs fell and I have been walking ever since. That's phenomenal. Okay, so now we've got a voiceover, we've got the script. It's a legitimate story about this 
robot that's narrating this dark apocalyptic time and sounds incredible. So we've done the script, we've done the scenes, now we need to add AI elements to tell our story. So right next to voiceover, there is a media tab. And if we open that up, we can generate AI media. We can match our own media. So if we upload something, we wanna create something similar to that, or we match stock footage. So we can actually search for stock footage about what we're talking about, and then try to match it with what we're describing. So if we go to generate AI media, it's gonna ask us what we want. Do we want realistic film? Do we want futuristic? maybe dynamic. With this whole robot thing, I think I'm gonna do epic fantasy. So we're gonna click epic fantasy, and we are literally just going to click apply. And all it's gonna do is read the script and then create images based on what is happening in the script. And now it has created AI images to go along with every scene and everything that we have talked about. So we started at the beginning and click play. This is my home. This desolate wasteland. It has been seven years since the bombs fell. So it has literally used AI to create an entire story, script, voiceover, and images to go along with what we're talking about. And if we have a video that's something like this about how many fish are in the ocean, instead of creating AI media, we just have them find stock footage for us. And now it has gone through and found tons of stock footage to go along with what we're talking about. How many fish are swimming in the ocean? 36 trillion? That's 36,000 billion with a B. The number of fish in the ocean is staggering. And so we've literally created stock footage videos right here, and it's just matched up with what the script is saying. We didn't even have to edit that or create anything with it. Now we're gonna be adding some music. Now with the music, uh, it's gonna give you a bunch of like bubbly music that's not gonna work at all. I'm gonna look for horror music. I don't want it to be like super scary, but just like that somber, eerie background. To be honest, I actually like this one right here. So this little 41 second one. I really like that. So all we're gonna do is click the plus button. And if we wanted to change the decibel level, we can make it really loud, not so loud. I'm gonna keep it pretty subtle because I wanna hear the voiceover. Now we have the voiceover along with the music, and then we click play. This is my home, this desolate wasteland. And now we've got music, voiceover, script, images, all created with AI. And once we have it perfect, we go up to the top right, we click export, and then we can export for TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, or whatever we want to, to get our created content out there. Now, if you wanna edit it just a little bit more, what I love is that at the top right, there is an edit more button. And if you click that, it then puts your entire video onto the CapCut timeline, so where you can see everything, you can see all the images it's created, and you can literally edit it even more. But there is one other thing that you can do that I think is amazing. Now, inside CapCut, you can actually create AI videos based on images. Now this one is with the paid version of CapCut and actually takes credits, but if you wanted to actually take your images and make them move, you can do that inside of CapCut. The robot should be moving its head and using the lamp to illuminate the area. You don't wanna do anything crazy like have the robot do a backflip or something like that. And once it's finished, we can click play. I walk in search of more batteries to keep myself charged. So all it basically did was make his hand move up like that. But still, now there is movement to this image that we have created. And as you guys can see, inside CapCut, completely free, we can create a script, create a voiceover, create music, create captions, and even create images to create an entire story that we have done using AI, and it's completely free. This is something that would take multiple subscriptions and multiple services to do, and yet CapCut is giving it to you guys completely free. So if you guys wanna check this out, you can download CapCut in the notes below and start creating your own stories immediately. 
If you want to learn more about filmmaking and cap cut in general, you can check out our full course at tomorrowsfilmmakers.com. We have over 1,200 training videos and over 120 hours of content on every single filmmaking subject that you can possibly imagine taught by leading professionals in the film industry. Whether you're an experienced editor or a beginner filmmaker, Tomorrow's Filmmakers is the place for you. And right now you can get a lifetime membership for only 97 bucks. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Go create some amazing videos inside of CapCut and head on over to tomorrowsfilmmakers.com to learn more.